yuck. I hate chicken. I'm never gonna eat it again. Why can't I just have more salad already? Oh no! I don't believe my ears! Mom? The voices are back. Call Dr. Kilpatrick! Kenny! Did I hear you don't want to eat the chicken? That's right. It's juicy and flavorful. And some hippie told me that chicken used to be alive. Yes! They used to be alive, Kenny! But that's exactly why we must eat them! But the hippie said that life is valuable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kenny, it's time to show you why chicken is the most important food group! Mmm! That looks like a delicious, well-balanced meal there, Kenny! What do you have there? Oh! Veggies! Very good for you! What else do you have? Rice! Goes well with soy sauce. And of course, a healthy supply of chicken! Chicken sure is good for you, Kenny. I bet you die if you never ate any. Did you know that it's a source of aspartic and glutamic acids? Which I guess are good for you. But mostly it's a fantastic source of protein. A lack of protein can actually lead to a decrease in intelligence. Better eat up, Kenny. You don't have much to spare. Protein deficiencies can lead to malnutrition, which can eventually lead to death. Do you want death, Kenny? I didn't think so. Or you might just turn anemic, which is... I know. I know. That's just where you have pale skin and white hair. That's albino, Kenny. Now eat up. Staying healthy is good for your health. I'm still not too cozy about eating the flesh of something that used to be alive. It just seems barbaric. Kenny, we recreated as omnivores. Do you know what that means? Yes, that means that we're supposed to be awake at night. Not even close. It means that our bodies are meant to digest both plants and animals. Even still, that hippie said that I could get all that nutrition from beans. If you want to live that miserable life, sure. But there is much more to it than that. I'll have to talk about our dark history. At the dawn of civilization, man was oppressed by a species most foul. Chickens started as the dominant people of the planet, and because humankind showed so much promise, they tried to crush our spirits and make the human race their slaves. But, I don't get it. Aren't chickens... small? Kenny, do you know what evolution is? Isn't it that move that Patrick Swayze did in Dirty Dancing? What? No! It's where one thing becomes something else for some reason. Let me explain. Long ago, dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Then one day, they became chickens. That's in your science textbooks in school, Kenny. So, it must be true. Did that answer my question? Finally, one day, we stood up against the chickens. An army led by Gringor Sanders fought the chickens and overthrew them. Colonel Gringor found to keep them down the best way he knew how, by eating them. Now we keep up traditions to remind us of our past. We eat their fingers to represent us loosening their iron fist. Drumsticks represent their war drums, which were used to shatter our willpower as we marched as slaves for them. Then what are these? Well, Kenny, I'll tell you when you're older. So remember, if you're thinking of dropping that drumstick, you're not just dropping delicious meat. You're dropping the future of humanity. So raise your drumsticks in the air and take a chomp for humanity. It's the one true way to down the chicken menace. Let's try this again, shall we, Kenny? Hey, what you what you got there? I just eating some salad. You want some? 
Yeah. <laughs>